but we have lived on this planet and many other planets for a very long time where there has been no murders and no crime. Thank God none and of us are no playing. war. God, none of us don't mind her too much. She is a, uh, a druid of nature. So the ah, then I understand your anxiety and frustration here currently. As nature is not something that has been or has ever been on this planet as the entire planet has been artificially created. Uh, if I had the means to do so, I would take you to another one of our planets where I feel you would be much happier. But currently we are here, so again, I am sorry. It must feel very uncomfortable for you to stand here. Very. This whole discussion is very uncomfortable. Karth clears his throat. <clears throat> if, you would look, if you would look up in the sky behind you, perhaps this could help a little bit. I'll yes. look. <laughs> You see a flock of birds that are very obviously metallic, flying in a V-shape across the sky. <laughs> Some of the people here do miss the sights of other, more nature-rich planets, so they have created these things to make them feel a little more like home. Although traveling between the planets, as you've seen with our portal technology, is not exactly difficult. So many of us will go to an oasis every now and then. Just because we are artificial does not mean we do not respect the natural. From the ones living on a planet without any of it, yes. Well, this planet <laughs> didn't exist until we built it, so there was no, literally nothing natural about this planet. Earth and Satari need to get together and, like, go stalk around this world and sell people organic bodies, like, Sell, sell to them the concept of being organic and see if we can convert them back <laughs> to our plane. Like Karth he's doing to fleshies. Karth leans down to Coke. What's artificial mean? Created. Uh, by non-natural means. Man-made. Gotcha. Oh, so not orc-made. Or woman-made. There could be orc-men. <laughs> oh, look at Kuroku being progressive. Hey, women are better men than men are, okay? <laughs> what? Why don't, do you think Kroger likes it? It doesn't have to make sense. Much? It just has to be correct. <laughs> so, first of all, first of all, some traps would disagree with you. Oh, uh, I have a question. Yeah, I, I do like a good hazard. Todd. Uh, you say you don't have war and have no need for food. Does that mean you no longer have weapons? Oh, we have no war within our own people. That's not to say there aren't others that wish us harm. We like do not. Ex Dominion. We do not. Excuse me? No, oh, sorry. Uh, we've encountered a race of creatures called the Dominion of the Black. They seem to want to destroy everything. Ah, uh, yes, we thrive amongst us. They are uh, all around us, but we, like I said, we thrive amongst them. I wish, I wish I was playing land just for this encounter so that I could bring him outside the portal, point up at the moon, and say, you'll want to go there. The people there really, you know, or not the moon, but just outer space and go, go find the people out there. They, they really like what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> just, just straight up point at space in no particular direction. Go that way. <laughs> so the Dominion doesn't think you're an enemy? Oh, no. The Dominion used to assault the way a lot of us it is completely optional but a lot of us choose to download the ancestry files and learn where the people of the brass came from they were hounded and run across our galaxy by the uh we were very advanced but we were still being decimated by the dominion of the black they would turn our planets into flesh farms and create new creatures one of their more common creatures that they use now was actually created from one of our starting peoples. I believe they call it a Koilon. Yeah, uh, we've encountered this. But uh, my people's answer to that was more vast, vastly more and more weaponry to try to fight them off to no avail. But when you remove the biological, they have nothing from us that they can take, twist, and contort. And through 
being able to prolong our life and making it harder for them to destroy us, we have eventually reached the point where we can fight back, and now we hold them off pretty well. Let's see. Hmm. This, this is, uh, that's really good. I have some memories of something that I had locked away, something I learned about them. Knowledge of the dominion of the black is enough to snap a stole, a soul in twain. Yeah, I suppose that was what happened. Even I our, to... even our vast repositories of knowledge have complete blank spots on what they are, how they function, what they want, and it is kept that way on purpose. I was told, told that I told others that they were coming. They would oh yes, they are coming away. for every point of every planet of every. Well, if there is existence, they are coming. And yet, you have a solution for that. We can hold them all. I didn't say we could defeat them. Oh, okay. Ah. Yet they seem to pursue you less than normal due to the new forms. Well, battles are still waged here and there. They take a planet, we take it back. But as far as our core worlds, they are unable to get close to us. The planet we stand on now, they are, have not been able to get anywhere near. That's good. I hope that continues. But we have much to consider, I suppose. Uh, no need to make any hasty decisions now. Well, I, uh, my readouts tell me that the portal on the other side is very damaged. I do not know if I would be able to repair it properly. It is... It was built before I was part of this... of the Brassian Collective. Yeah, it did seem... So, hundreds of thousands of years ago? Oh, the one that was built on your planet was built before your people involved and could actually communicate effectively with each other. Why was it in a place? It, Perhaps origi it originally wasn't. No, it was it. We we did wall it off and put it underground, so that your people would not stumble upon it until the people were ready to do so, or we were ready to use it again to initiate contact with your people. Those precocious little orphans. Someone built an orphanage on top of it. What is an orphanage? A place where children without parents are kept until they're adopted. Or just never adopted. Or adult. Yeah. That is... That is a concept uh, that has been very foreign and not known to us for a very long time. Yeah. No. I imagine that would happen when you don't have children. Uh, a lot of our people decide, I believe some of your different religions uh, may call it reincarnation. A lot of our people, once they get old to the point that everything in the world is known to them or feels known to them and becomes stale, they will have their memory wiped and be put back in a smaller model, essentially, a, a body of a younger person. And there are several of the other ones that do wish to have them, do still have the maternal and paternal instinct, instincts, and will, as you put it, adopt these people. These people may still be tens of thousands of years old, but with their memory wiped, they are looking at the world fresh and new and being learned and taught by these subjugate parents. I would ask them what's the point of becoming immortal, but I feel like that will be a, a long discussion that is not necessary. Anyway, you said you were going to request the decommission of that unit? Yes, would you like to come with me and see it done? I asked you that, I believe, some time ago. You, you did. Um, I, I would... I'd like to make sure it gets done. I'd like to not go, but I'm not going to let you go alone. <sighs> Very well if you're all going. 
could I... I wish I had some method of making this place more comfortable for you, ma'am, but I apologize. I do. So, Tari, I would recommend you go back, just in case something happens. I think this some... place would be much more torture to you than for us. It is yeah. painful almost to be here, yes. <laughs> I mean, what would I do? I, I have no way of fixing the portal if it breaks on you or something. No, but... Yes, but I have... Or, with enough time, I will have means to go to the Plane of Shadow. And that will get me back home at some point. Uh, I, I am afraid your biological body will break down and be long decomposed before you are able to get to where you are from here, even within the Plane of Shadow. There are other planes. I point at Ko and go, he'll figure it out eventually. If you have the ability to plane hop and jump around, it will still take you a very long amount of time. But with the right intelligence and magics, it is doable, and I would wish you the best of luck. Although I don't know why you would need to get home that way. That is not the hope, but it might be necessary. To be fair, if we ended up trapped here, Satari, there, they can travel between planets. We can just go to a planet that actually has nature. Or, or Satari could be in the planet she's, you know, connected to. Yeah. No, I I trust him to do the decommission. We can return for now. I'll see what I can do with the machine on our side. It should probably be secured so that people don't accidentally yes. stumble through it. Of course. We ha we have another portal on your planet. If that one is in a dangerous spot, I can have it decommissioned as well. Where is the other portal? I do not know what you would call your land, so I do not know how to answer that question for you. Uh, can you give me a rough estimate of... Uh... Northwest, east, south. How many I miles? do not know the cardinal directions of your planet, so I do not know how to he's answer never, that for you. He's never been there, Co. Yeah, okay. Well, he was right. for five minutes. I, <laughs> I, I always know where north is on my planet, but when I stepped on yours, it was so strange. I did not. Yeah, we can do that on ours, but we don't know here. I used to be able to. <laughs> <laughs> and then you died. It happens. Are well, you giving us uh, much not, to think not to us? It doesn't. If I ever need to get back here and this portal fails, well, I know I can find another. Although I do not know when the last time it was activated. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. If I really need to get here. Yes, cause a master at uh, these machines now. We will just continue opening different planar portals on your planet until life becomes so unbearable there you have no choice but to join us. What? <laughs> I mean, that works. Does he say that? No. But he does say, we will continue to try to build and open new portals on your planet. We would like to incorporate your planet into ours, or at least give your planet and as many people who desire the option and choice to do so. We will not force it on anyone. We are not the dummy. Well, that makes you a little better, then. That's all that matters to me, as long as someone's got a choice. I think you will find a tremendous amount of opposition in our world. You may also find some willing. You'll find some, but not, not enough to be worth whatever resources you're spending. How do you know? Unless the matter of breaching through multiple planes is a trivial matter to them. I'm sure some will understand the threat the Dominion actually holds, and I'm sure you can use more people. Well, 
And he is leading you into a building where you do see several essentially like android-esque things um, that are laid out, some hanging from hooks, some laid out on a bed. There are a couple other people working. You will see what appears to be an, an elf, a dwarf, and a human all just kind of tinkering away and working on stuff. And then you do see John Guardsman up, up against the wall. He looks perfectly fine. All of the bandages he was wearing was lying on the side. And then Todd does tell you, we don't know why he wrapped the bandages around himself. He was not wearing those when we created this. Uh, burns. It seemed like he burned. I, I shift back just so that I'm not mistaken. Like you even <laughs> look at uh, you even look at a lot of the flesh that is over the metallic core of John, and it it is burned. Todd even tells you that they think that once John got like once John broke loose, he took like hot pieces of metal and held it to his own flesh and burned himself to try to max make his image match what he saw himself as in his mind. Mm, makes sense. Mm, this seems so lovely. I can see why everybody wants to sign up. Well, it would have worked flawlessly if the biological version was not still alive. We had no way of knowing that, but... And he, and he, agree and he, oh, I'm sorry, and he agreed to this? He may have been unconscious. He, well, he was dying. And... We were trying to save his life. Uh, it was worth the shot, he... but he did end up surviving. You see him pushing some buttons, and then you see him saying stuff to other people who eventually, uh, immediately go and take John Guardsman down, set him up, and put a halo around the head which starts zapping different, like electricity like it is arcing of blue and red arcs going into this, the like skull of this John Guardsman thing that we are completely untethering the consciousness from this device right now is he gonna feel any pain? if the biological John Guardsman is currently in a conscious state it will not be pleasant for him but it will also not take very long although well, I suppose True. that's the best we're going to get. He should be on the other side, though. I don't see why he would be affected from so far. Is there a link? Oh, the, po the portal is open. The link is very strong. Oh. Maybe we should have went through well, and let this happen while... Well, that's... gonna suck for him. But... It will happen in the long run. You say they were saying... no, no sooner that, that y'all are having this conversation is it done. Like it's been f finished now. Alright. And we will be <clears throat> on our way. Oh, Does this yes. mean we have access to the android ancestry now? Let's just go. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for... You can be I converted. Eh. Uh... uh I'm going to pass. No, uh, no. No. I will talk to you all later. Well, uh, I'm good. Before you leave, would you accept a token of goodwill? Of course. I suppose. Do we have little need of certain things like this, although... This specific item... I, I want to impress upon you that we do mean well, and we wish to do good. He opens a cabinet in the side, and he pulls a sword out. It is a great sword. I will take that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, this specific weapon, you actually see different inlays of broken circuitry going around the, the entire sword. There is a robot's ocular lens on the cross guard. It, you hear a soft hum come from the blade itself. Uh, while unsheathed, sparks occasionally like fly off of it, emitting dim light within five feet. And he tells you this sword will actually do 
a surprising amount of damage against foes made of metal or wearing metallic armor, even metallic shields. This weapon is one of the best things to kill us with. What better form of good faith to give you a weapon to use against us if you decide it worthwhile? Well, certainly should not I come to that. Suppose so. I don't think, yeah, I don't think, I think it'll come to that, but this will be honest surprisingly beneficial to what we do. Well, even in the case of your friend here, something went horribly wrong, and I shudder you thinking, uh, thinking of you having to fight one of us. Is, not all of us are built, you know, for combat. Even his body was not created with combat in mind, but that doesn't mean it is a pushover. Uh, yes. That's understandable. We were certainly very good at combat. <laughs> yes, we basically gave him what you may refer to as the civilian model. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, good old John Guardsman. Oh, was well, he a guard? Should I have given him the protector model? He, he was a guard, um, actually, yeah. <laughs> but that's fine. He, the civilian model was more than enough for where he would. It's done. It's decommissioned. You don't need to worry about it anymore. <laughs> um, well, here. I, I can give you this as a gift. Maybe maybe it would be useful. Uh, who, 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 who wants the great sword? Which of you just might actually use a great sword? I am not proficient in it. <laughs> I mean, I am proficient. Uh, Keith has raised his hand. Is Baroque going to use a great sword? I might. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ko's gonna pull out his gold kobold statue and offer it to him. The one of you? Yep. Wow. Oh. This looks very similar to you. This must mean something to you, or... Thank you. Yes, there's a story behind it, but, uh... Uh, may I? He's holding his yeah. hand out near your face. Sure. Hey, what? He puts he puts his finger to your temple, and you feel an electric shock. And after take a few moments, twelve. Yeah, yeah. Take another, take another like two hundred and something damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he moves his hand back, and he goes, "That is beautiful. That memory will be added to our collective." Yeah. I hope our uh, story is entertaining to the very least. Why is another thing messing with your memory, Cole? Hmm? I just accessed it. You didn't take it. Oh, alright. By the way, Co. Yes? You know that Satari is deeply in love with you, and the reason she's been in a bad mood is because she wants you so bad she can't think for it. <laughs> Why would I know that? Ah, oh, the classic Sundari curse, gotcha. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Although, if you tried doing something on this planet, you would find out that Satori isn't actually all that useless without Druid. She could still kick you, right? Hammer. Actually, yeah. my rage has the primal trait, because I'm animal. I don't think it would work either. <laughs> Your rage has nothing to do with Gaza. Okay. It just has the primal trait, so I was wondering. <laughs> yeah, no. No, that's fine. You're still okay. The world's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, who is taking the sword? So I know whose inventory to put it in? I mean... I'm probably the only one that's proficient in it, right? Karth might be. I'm Karth not. Is. Uh... He will not use a sword. Then I'll take it. <laughs> what What? What do you have against swords, my friend? They're not you... hammers, that's what he has against them. Yeah, hammers are... I'm, I'm kind of like... Yeah, I'm Karth it's... the hammer. Yeah. <laughs> It's his thing. So, so you are Karth the Hammer, so all of your enemies would know your name, and it sounds like you shout it from on high, know to prepare against hammers. But what if you encounter a foe that is only prepared for hammers, and then you pull a sword out and strike it down? Then Karth the Hammer can also be Karth the Tactician. He's got a point. He's, yeah, he really does have a point. Karth the Tactician. You, you know what else has a point? The sword. The sword. <laughs> if... if... <laughs> If you have to use such duplicitous means to win, do you even want to, Karth? Karth... Okay, okay, hold on. Pause, everyone. This coming from you. Oh, <laughs> right. Karoku's 
Kuroko is stirring the pot. Doesn't matter with what <laughs> tactic he, Kuroko uses. Look, just Kar because Kuroko is duplicitous doesn't mean that he can't dissuade others from being that way. Ikria's sword is added to your inventory. Okay. Uh, the name is a little... Yeah, I see it. Hits The name hits a little close to home, considering what I've been naming some of your personal storyline uh -huh. things. So just ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> what is it named? Uh, the Blade of the Black Sovereign. <laughs> nice. Here, by the way, here is your father's sword. <laughs> I was hoping for a clockwork cloak. Those things are awesome. I don't think they're in this. They're in Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Clockwork Spy it is. Uh, I mean, I'll take one of those too. They'd be cool. <laughs> extra familiar. Uh, you, Fox. You know what a fox is? We have a repository of knowledge that spans eons. Yes, I know what a fox is. Well, then oh I my god, them. this sword. Here. Broku, you were handed this. I'm adding it to your inventory. You reading the item. It went into something. There it is. Yeah, it's in your equipment tab. Uh, you reading the item constitutes of them telling you what it does, basically. Same with the sword with you. Oh yeah, I know what this is. Is it great about to start using... You can retrain out of the one hand crap. I, I can. I can retrain out of that. And I will definitely consider doing it for this. If you want me to, I can retrain you in half the time. You have that dream thing yet. Yep. And or, then he can spend the other half doing it. hammer. Yeah. Or just yeah, he like, can retrain in the middle of doing everything else. It's like one feet. I think. How are we not exhausted? Because Ko has been getting lots of hungover sleep lately. The absolute volume of everything we did today, yesterday, and the day before should be <laughs> like just utterly. Like mentally. we should just exactly. need a day, essentially. Oh, it's it's you coming guys up. Just got done with right. the theater and the spa. Yeah, really. Yeah, that was very relaxing. It was relaxing. You have a very good point there, Karth. And we slept with the king. We felt All uncomfortable right. for Satari <laughs> like for some reason. <laughs> Why is that uncomfortable with you, Satari? She's a wild druid. She can't be tamed and like un do that kind of who stuff. Was, who was trying to tame you? You got to see an opera and listen to some good music. Okay, I don't know how he's... From Cohen Karth. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> That's the big thing. You got to get away from Cohen Karth. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I can't wait for Ko to yeah, be to be having an affair with both sides of the royal marriage. I mean, <laughs> at that point, <laughs> like they, I, I would love to the uh, the role play scenario where they both find out that they've been cheating on each other with Ko. I mean, so far Ko doesn't know that much. I'm sorry, Karth. I am looking, but there are just. No coal hammers. <laughs> hey, uh, I I have a question, Todd. Yes, he holds Mr. out hammer. his hammer. He, he holds out his hammer. He's like, one time I swung this thing, and it made everything around me blow up. Is there something you can do with that? Uh, it was like a shock wave coming out of my hammer. It was it was pretty it was... amazing. <laughs> well, to explain. It was dropped in raw arcane energy. Yes, here you go. He hands you four talismans. I take them. Karth, you do remember that that almost killed half of us, right? Well, I'll make sure you guys aren't around. Okay. Or I'll put it on my... You, uh, to affix a talisman, you spend ten minutes affixing it using... And you have to have a repair kit, so easily done in ten minutes of downtime at the guild hall with no issue at all. Co carries a repair kit with him everywhere, so. Do you what pull out the repair is... kit and open it? What's that? Do you pull out the repair kit and open it? And open it? Mm hmm. Right now? No. D yeah, do you want to look in the repair kit and see how most of the stuff is missing? And it's been replaced with hand drawn pictures from him? 
<laughs> yes, yes. Honestly, is. fair because I have not opened it since. That would be amazing. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. That is your repair kit. Co does not have a repair kit on. Well, I wouldn't even be mad. Don't have to. Uh, yeah, sure. Co pulls it out to fix one now, but finds <laughs> that out. Well, okay. You realize that a lot of your tools from your repair kit was used for him to do the carvings and things like that, and he just never put it back in the thing. So what 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 did you? Oh, need? That's all right. Hey, what what's do you that? want? Okay. Uh, oh, I forgot to put my hand down. My <laughs> what uh talismans did I get? I don't know yet. You were just handed four talismans. Okay, cool. I'm all probably right. going to have to create them. So. I'm just oh. gonna buy a repair kit when I get back, so I'm not gonna bother taking them. Karth puts them in his bag and... They all explode. I don't know. <laughs> Put them in a bag of holding. It implodes. I don't know. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure to meet you. Hopefully not the last time. Huh. Trying to give presents to everyone else, but I can't find them. So y'all yeah. will get them later if you want them. Uh, however, Satari is offered a present. Mm, she'll look at it <laughs> cautiously. She still doesn't. It's a, it's a it's a metallic box that she is off. He is offering you. I'll at least take a look at it. I'd reach it out is, to take it. <laughs> it is a box. There has a lid. There's a little clasp on the front that is currently clasped closed. There's no lock on it. <sighs> they can't all explode, can they? And they open it up. <laughs> Inside, do you see? Now this box, I, I'm sorry, I should have better described. This box was about the size of a shoe box, if not a little bit bigger. Okay. Inside, as soon as you open it, you hear snapping of metal plates kind of forming together until it forms into this beautiful, smooth cat that you see stretch and the tail curls, and it looks up at you and meows. That's adorable. Oh, I'm so conflicted on that one. <laughs> Would you like a pet robo-cat? Uh, yes and no. Oh... <laughs> I should be staring at that for a while of, oh, it, it's so cute, but mechanical, but it's cute and adorable. Oh. It jumps out of the box into your shoulder and begins running against the side of your head. Oh, all right. <laughs> it, may, it, may be, it may be mechanical, but just like the birds we have in the sky here, all of the behaviors are programmed to be identical to the creatures they represent. Uh, uh, all right. We'll give it a try. <laughs> My last pet didn't turn out so well. It was a giant spider, Satori. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well. This one this, this one won't eat anyone. Yes, you right. don't need to you do not need to feed it. Okay, good. Perhaps, but who knows what it's capable of. <laughs> we saw what the civilian okay. model could do. Oh god, now we have to keep all the cups and stuff off the edge of the table. <laughs> yeah, what is the... Uh, if, what is the yes, if you, if you have any balled up... Uh, what, one of its favorite toys is playing with a ball of wires. I don't think uh, we have any we wires. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> are you, in our world, it's typically a ball of yarn. What is yarn? Fabric, uh, woven geez. cotton into a what? cable. Ah, uh, yes, rope. cotton. What? Yes, cotton. I remember cotton. Used to make clothes. I remember clothes. This dude just naked in front of us. <laughs> no, he is wearing clothes, but he does say, "I remember clothes." Okay. From just now, you remember clothes. <laughs> I should change mine. I believe I've been wearing these for a few centuries. <laughs> yes, they're durable. That is... Okay, you were... 
Philip, you were handed four dragon bone arrowheads. Dragon bone arrowheads. I, and he tells you, I apologize. These will not explode like you described. Or hurt your comrades as your friends described. But these will allow you to do explosive hammer damage from farther away. That's exactly oh. what you needed, Garth. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, I should say that. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, thank between, you very much. Between the between, clockwork cat begins purring. Between the uh between the martial weapon, the ranged weapon for Karth, and the soulless automaton animal thing for the druid, these people still just don't get us at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's very uh... yeah, yeah, one out of three is uh not one out of f well, they they gave me something that I can use, so that was that one was rectified. So what, like one and a half, two out of four? I, I it will take me a while to figure out a good way to use mine. Which is why I decided on it for you because I feel like that's a good Kuroku item. But that is a Keith is gonna ponder on that and use it in a fantastical way, kind of. It'll be. A, like a lot of the stuff I have, it'll be very in the moment and will completely upend whatever you were trying to do. As it should be. Yes. I Co, out my scarab of are you ready for what you get, though? Yes. You don't get anything. Oh. You get okay. a brand new body. <laughs> yes, you get a Eventually. brand new body. Oh, um, man. Are you thinking about it, Co? Oh, he's definitely thinking about it. But one of the things he wants to be able to achieve is immortality, and that's that's so very close. Then you can spam many Incubi and Succubi as you want. Should have played an right? Alchemist. They just get that. Or a Monk. They also just get that. I'm sure there's a way for Wizards, too. Oh, you're monk. making it harder and harder for so Satori to love you. I know. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Monks get immortality at 14th level. And that's also why he's turning it down. And at 14th oh. level? At 14th level, they get ageless body. And it doesn't say that they still die of natural causes or old age. It literally just says they cease aging entirely. Hammer. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go change my class to Monk. <laughs> nah. That's only for the celibate monks, right? Celibate, yeah. All right, so that one doesn't work for me. Just every time you have hammer, you lose twenty years. Of doing. Hammer. Well, for That's a kobold, it works. <laughs> works good for elves, but elf monks yeah. don't notice. Yep. <laughs> Are all of you ready to leap? Oh yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Karth is gonna have some fun with his talismans. I think. Mm -hmm. Hammer throw. Also, I feel like we're gonna see use from that great sword pretty <laughs> soon. Yeah. Depends on if there's combat. So we have to actually get into a combat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you all go back to your portal? Yes. 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 Uh, you were followed by a team of four people. All right. Um, like it? It? Yes, they follow you through. They set up basically like a portable generator battery bank to the portal to keep it active while they begin dismantling all the stuff around. All right. Oh, okay. That works. Well, that's nice of them. I was going to try to destroy it, but they're going to do that for me. Please do not RTUG our equipment again. <laughs> I'm surprised they know what it is. <laughs> I just take many deep breaths coming back. <laughs> I, I imagine the the shift in their society that caused this made Atiogs, um, a lot of them die off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not much food there. The waste, yeah, of that type. There's new kinds of waste, you know, toxic <laughs> waste that they will sometimes find planets that have only flora and fauna, no intelligent life, and just use that for toxic waste dumps until the planet becomes like. 
so radioactive that they end up throwing it into a nearby star. The whole planet? Yes. Yeah, the druid loves these people. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that's just the natural order of things. <laughs> Very natural, yes. <laughs> But they throw all the waste on the ground. They don't mess with the sky, so you're good. <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> all right. You have, I believe, knocked three things off of your to-do list. Yep. Not too shabby. I've, got, I've, I've definitely got one more thing on my to-do list. Hey, what you is that, E3? Go, go to my new home. And, and check out my house. Oh wow, you actually had this. Casa de Vendris. What if it had gone to this and it was just the guild hall? <laughs> <laughs> I would like, I would I'm... drive over to where you live, walk into your room and slap you. Oh, uh, hello it's everyone. Uh, so... Oh, yes, Lady Ikri. Uh, yes. The door's locked. Sorry. Sorry, Karth. It was freaking the hammer. Go to this. <laughs> yes, you're all here. Okay. Ikri's gonna go check out her house. Uh, you actually have a few acres of land. You walk past acres of these, whatever these plants are. They look like grapes to me. I don't know, I didn't really zoom if in it's much. A, so. If it's a vineyard, it is almost exclusively grape. <laughs> it's olives. Yeah. Olives grow on trees. These are baby trees. Oh, there's some pumpkins down here. <laughs> there are pumpkins over there. Technically, uh, yes. pumpkins grow on the water. Oh, yes, Lady Ikri. I've been expecting you. Yes. I will tell Miss McCarthy to get her dinner ready. He unlocks ah. the door, he hands you the key, and then he steps aside. Thank you. You have pumpkins, Ikri. Oh, she walked away. Ah. Oh. Look at the... I have a piano. Everyone else is just running around outside like crazy. That's fine, they can. I think uh, we should let Kuroku and Igri look at their new home. Oh, um, sure, yeah. Not not bad. And just plunk out a few simple ditty on the piano. Little ditty? About Jack and Diane? Two American kids? Our two Yaren kids <laughs> living on this farmland. Uh, Mr. Timmons does tell you I apologize. The barn outside is currently undergoing a renovation and uh, is being reconstructed. Ah, that's fine. Hmm. Hello there. Oh, you found oh. Miss McCarthy? Yeah, I will introduce right. myself to her. Okay. Why? <laughs> Why is the bond alive? It's an animated Miss Secret, Miss Miss Secret, your bond renovations are complete. Ah. Oh, that was. Oh no. Uh, if all of you would follow me, I will show you to your accommodations. Okay. Um, uh, oh, alright. Right in here is where you will be staying. I just gotta hit the bathroom, I'll be right back. Karth comes from very modest means, so he, he he's fine with this. <laughs> Karth's like, eh, had worse. Did he lead them to the barn? Yes. Oh, this That's... is the second floor of the building. There's so many liars. Look, Satari, there's, there's fresh hay. Hiya. You should be able to click on that thing at the top and it move you from layer to layer. Hmm. Well, uh, I might use that not throw. I don't think... Did it? Yeah, it did. It put you up the stairs, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but I can't go... Hmm. You know, I don't um, think I've ever tried it. It's probably awful. You gotta awful. click it again. Oh, I found the master bedroom. 
Ah! I'm on the roof now. <laughs> Does Forever just go lay in the bed? <laughs> yes, yes, I apparently. believe so. Hold Wouldn't... on, Karth, I, I will fix you. So you're telling me that isn't the first thing you do when you check into a hotel is just run and plop on the bed for no reason? That is fairly the often, thing yeah. I do. <laughs> this is not a hotel, though. Yeah, but it is a furnished house, so what's the difference? To some I've, got, like, I've, I've what... removed the roof from both the first and second floor, so Karth, you should be able to go to the second floor properly now. Okay. Great, great. Our friends go in our barn and they remove the roof. They raise the roof. They are partying. They like to party. Party. I like it. I like Garth, the fireplace in the. Garth bedroom. runs in and flops down on a bed of hay. And then there's a Garth, you were on the here. second floor, so you jumped off a balcony to do that. Go back downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Are there any horses in here? No, is Not there? yet. You will have to acquire those. Satari, um, can you turn into a horse? Um, <laughs> I've never tried. Let me see. Let me think. I actually have to look at if that's part of wild <laughs> shape. I don't know. Sure, you can for right now. Dinner will be served in roughly 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. Hey, Tree, who works here? We are, we are having braised ribs, mashed potatoes, corn on the cob, and a glass of some of the vineyard's wine. What What did you ask, Karaka? For who works this land? Um... No one yet, I don't think. Arth does now. Tell him there's a hammer buried somewhere in the land and he has to till it all. Hi, Mr. Timless. Oh, oh, oh wonderful. Wow. Good evening, Karth. Good evening, Satori. It is almost time for me to retire, but not quite yet. I'm going to have a quick power nap before I must serve the Mr. and the Lady. You will excuse me, I will lie down now. Okay, enjoy that. Oh, well, sure, very well. Karth runs and jumps in, <laughs> in the cart. Is Karth just hiding in the bushes? He's AFK. I just AFK. Oh. Uh. Hey, this is fun! Hmm. Hey, Karth. Hey, Why don't you go and uh, yes, my lady? Can, why don't can I you help you with go that? on the other side of that cart? You don't, you want to jump in there? If you go upstairs, my lady, you come here to the ladder and you press this button that literally says go up. Go over here. I'll just yeah, just hop in. <laughs> I walked in the Got door it. down here. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go over here to where Mr. Timbus is. Stand here and click that go up button. That is right there. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, uh, I don't have a go up button there. Alright. Well, try to step into it then. I use wild shape. Ah, there it is. <laughs> you may need to be on the left or right of it or something. Oh my god. Yeah. And now you are obsessed. And you can see Mr. Timless as Yay. I move him around on a different thing. Yay! That's what I wanted. <laughs> now to gotta get find the now to get here. an initiative tracker to work that way somehow. It will. This is all one scene. Oh, she's turned into a tiger. Oh God! <laughs> there you go. That's a huge <laughs> tiger. That's, that's a big tiger. Mister Mister Timless pulls a trowel off of his hip. Go into the barn with you. Into the barn with you, cat. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Animals go in the barn. Animals I, go in the I open both doors and like block off this exit so that the cat can't run this way. He is approaching you with like a, an insane fervor and holding a trowel up as if it's a weapon. Ah. Into the barn with you, cat. 
Uh, get her. Uh, yes, cat, into the barn. That's the Tori. That's not a cat. I'm into the barn. I swear to God, I'm the Do I squeeze? Can I even squeeze in there? You were just happy to have enough room to become freaking. Now you stay here. Pretty much, yeah. The lady and the Mr. Dirt Runner first, but then I will come back and I will happily feed you. In fact, we have a bucket of fresh cow's milk that I'm sure you will love. Ah. Like it, I was gonna attach the car oh, and head. ride her around. Oh, I was gonna jump on the car because I assume it was on two wheels and flip you out of it. <laughs> oh. that would Mr. Have been Mr. Timless runs a tight ship. I like Mr. Timless. <laughs> Well, one issue. minute later, it wears off. <laughs> <laughs> you said dinner? I will ask the, la the lady in the mister. Uh oh, we're just not. Lady Ikri? Yes? Your guest outside wish to accompany you for dinner. Do you have. Do I have your permission to bring them inside? Oh, of course. He rings a bell. Like he hits a triangle thing next to the door. You know, the old ranch style thing. Dinner will be served in five minutes. Be here. To... I to get the bell <laughs> <through> my car. <laughs> All right, well. Car. Um, oh, dinner. Sorry, dinner will be ready in ten minutes. Boys? Sorry, I'm really hungry. It's very lovely, Kuroku. He, he, like, horrible, like, I mean, sorry, he did amazingly at that piano check, and then went autopilot. He's just playing the same song over and over as Keith AFK. <laughs> Kill walks home. What? You don't go in for dinner? Nah. You have to eat, though. He had other plans, man. <laughs> I have a whole list of spells he hasn't been able to learn yet. <laughs> <laughs> And he never will. He's heading to the Wizards College. You are four or five hours outside of town. Uh, the Wizards College will be closed by the time you get there because the sun is beginning to set. <laughs> um, hi, Scarecrow. <laughs> you don't actually hear that really annoying laugh, but you do as you're kind of walking that way. Sorry, it needs to be in one scene or the other. That's actually a break. Okay, you do as you're walking that way. See a scarecrow moving through the fields. That's cool. Magical scarecrow. Uh, hopefully. Other creatures. It's gonna knowledge check it. Arcana, I assume? Uh, let me check. I zoomed in too fast and my screen got slow. Arcana or crafting. That is a critical success. This is a construct scarecrow. A okay. ramshackle collection of materials in a human shape. It is indistinguishable from a normal scale curve until it slowly creaks to life. It is neutral. For whatever reason, somebody basically made an animated scarecrow. For when the ones that stand there don't actually scare the birds away, this one, yeah, you will see crows come up, and this one will kill crows <laughs> and protect the grapes. Like you All actually, right. what you right. actually, you hear this horrific, <laughs> and you look up, and it is holding a rabbit that it just snapped its neck. Cool. That was cool. beginning to eat at some of the grapevines. It then takes the rabbit's body and deposits it in a barrel over here, and then goes back into the grapevine. Hardcore. Uh, I'm not yes, walking into that yes, grapevine ever. Does this not lead anywhere? It, that, water is your, sounds. that is, that is, that is your outhouse. outhouse. Enjoy your poo poo and pee pee. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you open the door, there's water. That was like a cellar. Acre <laughs> opens the door and just looks at the hole in the bottom. Does this not go anywhere? And start climbing into it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that is where you do your poo-poo and pee-pee. 
Alright, Co starts walking home. It's like four or five hours and the mage's job will be closed. I know. He's gonna go there first thing in the morning and he doesn't want to walk four to five hours in the morning. I ha I have plenty of guest bedrooms here. Uh oh. The lady requests your presence for dinner. Okay. Fine. He holds his hand out to take your hand. All right, I'll hold his hand. He holds your hand the entire time and just walks you back to the house. <laughs> Humans are weird. If the lady of the house so pleases, I have found a wan the wandering child you were seeking. Child? Uh. Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> wandering child. We need to get you something that makes you bigger, Ko. You're always being mistaken for a child. Yes. Yeah, uh... Are we knowing item that'll make him bigger? <laughs> it's okay. Where's the time? <laughs> Miss McCarthy, you hear Miss McCarthy call from the other room. Dinner has been put onto the dining room table. There ah. is an entire roasted pig, all kinds of different gravies, stuffing, meats, breads, cheeses, fruits, grapes, all kinds of different things. Um, and a large rack of braised ribs. Uh, Miss McCarthy comes out. Apologize. I know I promised one thing, but it is your first night here, and I may have overdone it a little bit, but I want you to know that we welcome having a head of the land and a head of the household again. Oh, thank you. This looks delicious. Will you be dining alone? Um, I didn't think I was. <laughs> I will hey, get your, your hammer in here! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I don't know, can I hear that from here? Or it looks like Kroku. Okay. it looks like Kroku, but you're looking forward to that for the rest of your life. You see him holding a bucket of milk as he walks in, he's looking around. Because <laughs> I'm sitting there with Medrin all set. Medrin all. Oh! Hello! Oh, door is locked on my end. Would you care for a bucket of milk? Um. I suppose. Oh, well, I must go find a rather large cat that appears to have escaped. Dinner is being held in the main home. Lady, e the lady of the house requests your presence. Oh, she didn't forget about me. So Kuroko leans over to Ikin and says, <laughs> So, what is it? A giant frog going to suck out our souls? It's all actually people, assassins, uh, hounds of Tindalos. Like, w w wonder what it is this time. No, nah, this room won't, like... This room's not good for those hounds. Yeah, Actually, is. a hound could appear yeah. here if it wanted to. In any From corner. between the floor and the wall. I think a quail is going to appear on the table. I'd prefer we just relax and not. I, I would rather just. I'm surprised Kuroko's not sitting at the other end of the table. Yeah, isn't the, the lord and the lady? Not the noble. Set I'm not the lord of this sides. estate, not yet. No, she's. He's gonna sit oh, right next to me. Oh, Ikri, did you hear that? I did. <laughs> Satara just sees an open seat, she goes for it, she do not think about it. Probably covered a little bit in hay. <laughs> Car starts tearing the pig apart with his bare hands. Riku eats more than enough to satisfy. Uh, as you are tearing the pig apart with your bare hands, Mr. Templus comes up with. A stack of plates, because there were no plates in front of you yet. And he begins carving the pig into pieces, handing some to Ikri first, then Kuroku. He actually says, lady, mister, and then he, without saying another word, hands also some to the guest, and he starts pouring different sides of the mashed potatoes, the ribs, all kinds of stuff, the fruits, and then he does, he does not give Karth a plate, because Karth probably has a handful of pork in us already. <laughs> But he does hand Karth a piece of cheese bread. Uh, here, this will help you. Uh, Miss McCarthy is baking a pie. It should be ready by the time you finish your meal. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. Karth, you, you don't have to. Does the lady in the Mr. like some music while they eat? 
Well, that would be lovely. Sure. Karth pats his knee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is Mr. Timless's performance check. I rolled pretty badly, but the music sounds pretty good on the piano. Yeah, pretty bad. Yeah, three is pretty badly? Yeah. Okay, sure. I well. either want to know what level he is, or I want to know, because ten of mine is my level. <laughs> So 11. that means that he's either like level 20 or he's better than legendary or his charisma is like plus nine or something. Mr. Timless runs a tight ship. Apparently. He's real good. Or he's cheating with some kind of ridiculous... Or he has a magic. circumstance bonus for playing this song so many times. <laughs> I don't think you can get that much of a circumstance bonus. I know. I don't know, he shoves me into the barn before I can flip cars. That was, oh, is yeah, that what I you can... were going to do? But, yes. That's amazing. It's quite nice to have some fun, and then, of course, it got interrupted. It's okay, we can do it later tonight. Uh, I'll have to uh, think about it. It took more out of me than I thought. Oh, wait, no, Ko doesn't say. If anything, he, he would hope Star would give Karth try. <laughs> yeah.